Is it true that at the very beginning of playing the character for the first time, you went off and you, you researched wolves? Yes. As po- really? Embarrassingly true. Go on, tell me how. I'd never heard of a wolverine. Come on. Had you growing up? Have you no, heard of a wolverine? I didn't re- realise it was an animal. <laughs> I didn't honest. either. So when I came, I thought wolverine was some kind of oh, human-type wolf thing. And <laughs> it turned out in Toronto at their IMAX, they had this documentary about wolves. I was like, oh, I'm going to go to that. I said, Deb, do you want to go? She goes, you can do the research on your own. So I'm <laughs> literally turned up on set. And I still actually have some of that stuff because I thought, oh, look at the wolf. He's always looking up through like that because he's smelling the ground. I said, yeah, Wolverine has this smell on this whole thing. And I came on and Brian's thing, he goes, all right, mate, um, you're doing some weird things like, physically. <laughs> Um, I don't want to be rude or anything, but it's just, just walk normally, man. I said, yeah, but it's just this thing, I'm researching wolves. And he goes, what? You know, the wolf part of it, I'd really love to get that into the physicality. He goes, you're not a wolf, man. <laughs> and there's other people on set giggling. I go, what? And he goes, Wolverine. I said, well, there's no such thing as a Wolverine. It's a wolf. He goes, no, there is such thing as a Wolverine. It's an animal. And if you open up a National Geographic, you find out. Or just freaking Google. like. <laughs> Not only humiliating, but then realising you've spent three weeks on all fours sniffing the ground and pretending to be a wolf. <laughs> it's all very drama school. It's all very Totally drama, drama school. school. <laughs> it's completely drama and school. And then freeze. 